We have more on the story we brought you last night on eight women facing prostitution related charges after a Warner Robins policing operation. Now, while they're accused of crimes, one expert says their situations are rarely clear cut. We want to know what you think about prostitution cases. You can vote in our 13 WMAZ poll on our app or online at 13 WMAZ.com slash vote. Zach Merchant live in Warner Robins to explain how some women often find themselves trapped in these situations. Frank Laurie, yes, these women allegedly committed a crime and are facing charges for it. But the question is why? What led them to a point where they would allegedly make these decisions? One woman we talked to today said it's easier than you might think to slip into that situation, especially when you're facing some very tough decisions. I got introduced to a guy and he introduced me to prostitution. Shortly after I got into drugs, uh, cocaine, marijuana, alcohol every day. That's Sarah Kennedy, describing her life as a sex worker just a few years ago. But it didn't start that way for her. Before that, I was a single mom, hardworking mom, warehouse, job, um, had my own apartment, three children, lived in my hometown, and then one thing fell after the other. She started to get behind on her bills. Her kids left to stay with her family. She lost her home and fell into prostitution. Some months later, she realized she wanted out, but learned that was not easy. Did you feel trapped? I did. I didn't know how I'd ever stop. Her saving grace came from an unlikely source, a high-profile arrest in Centerville, after she led police on a high-speed chase. I thank God that I was arrested here um, because I would not have ever quit using drugs. I don't feel, and I don't feel like I would have quit prostituting had I not been arrested and had that time. Sarah got help from mental health professionals like Warner Robins counselor Jennifer Trawick. There are people out there who are willing to help you. Counselors like Trawick helped Sarah. She says she's now drug free, has a new job, an apartment, and this weekend for Mother's Day, she'll see her kids again. What else did I go through all of this for if it wasn't to come on the other side of it and say, you know, you can get through it and you can make a change. And guys, I had a coach in college who used to say, you're always either spiraling up or spiraling down. But I think the postscript to that is you can always stop and change directions. Sarah Kennedy's story is proof positive of that. Live in Warner Robins, Zach Merchant, 13 WMAZ News. It certainly is. Thanks so much, Zach. Jennifer Trawick says there are dozens of resources for women in Houston County. For more details, you can look for this story on our website, 13WMAZ.com.